the 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 main things that that I've tried to stick with, and I think we as a city government have tried to stick with throughout this pandemic, is one, tracking local data and then relying on collective advice from local experts. Uh, and of course, you know, at the forefront of that is the team at the Tulsa Health Department that has really unparalleled access to data and analytics that we can rely upon, as well as the skill set to interpret them, uh, which I think is a one of the chief challenges for the Facebook epidemiologists out there that are trying to interpret data that they're not trained in interpreting. Uh, but also very heavily, it's had a, a heavy influence on what we've done, is the leadership from our hospital community here. If you think about when we've really ramped up restrictions in Tulsa, the, the most significant times that we've done that in the early going of the pandemic, when we uh, ultimately moved to uh, shelter in place, and then later last summer when we put the mask order in place both of those times were driven by hospital leaders coming forward and saying we need this in order to protect the integrity of our local health care system if things continue to run unchecked it will endanger our ability to save lives here in our our, our health care facilities in tulsa and so as much as any single data point that has driven action both for myself and for the city council. And uh, I think that first and foremost, that rather than any single one data point, it's gonna be that collective advice that we get moving forward from local healthcare experts on what we ought to be doing. Uh, you know, They have the expertise in identifying when things are moving in a dangerous direction and we have the ability to act on that guidance. That's the real partnership that I feel like has been formed over the last 14 months between the city and our, our healthcare community here in Tulsa.